Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful time here at Asia Photonics Expo, one of the best of its kind happening in Southeast Asia. A lot of amazing technology at display here. I'm having a good time. I hope you're having too. I'm Vaman Shanoi. I am the uh, technical manager for uh, optical products at ANSYS. And today I'll be talking about designing co-packaged optics with ANSYS solutions. Now co-packaged optics is one such topic which is gaining a lot of attention because of the advancements that have been happening in this space. Now, When we talk about electronics, semi or optics, data is one of the key drivers that has been driving this market. The rate at which we generate, transmit and consume data is increasing exponentially. And this is driven by the use of a lot of smart devices, a lot of AIML in everyday use cases. We've seen in the past couple of months how AIML can change the future. And with the increasing needs, this is only going to increase the requirements for a faster, much efficient solution for data transfers. So, what this means is a bright future for silicon photonics. A study by your group, someone who's also present at this conference today, shows a huge growth growth for co-packaged optics by 2027. If you look at the black circle here, the pluggable optics transceivers will also still dominate the data comm, but co-packaged optics will slowly take over once the challenges within adopting it are resolved. The challenges could be associated with uh, design or standardization of optical signal protocols, but overall, uh, this technology is definitely deemed as the future. Now, why do we need co-packaged optics in the first place? If you look at the figure on top over here, you'll clearly see how the historic growth has been for the use of optical in uh, data transmission over time is increasing with the increasing data rate. As the data rate increases, the loss on copper interconnects increases and they become less and less efficient, even for shorter distances. So eventually we expect optical interconnects to replace these copper interconnects for data transfer, even within the card itself. Now, another major drawback that we see is of power. So power is becoming a big bottleneck in data centers. They consume a lot of power, even today, and it is only set to increase. Now, if you look at this graph at the bottom, the yellow line here uh, shows the power that is being spent in transferring the signal, whereas the green line here is the total power that is allocated for that particular package. Now, these two lines, if you see, is set to meet at some point, and that is when we will hit the power wall, as we call it. This stage that we will eventually hit where all the power that is allocated for that particular package would only be spent on data transfer, which means there will not be any power left for the actual processing to happen within the chip. So the power budget, the entire budget is basically only spent on transfer itself. So by transitioning to fiber optics from copper, we can reduce the, the power loss. The recent prototypes of co-packaged optics claim up to a five times reduction in power consumption and increased bandwidth at the same time. So the image at the bottom also shows how, uh, you know, uh, the move has been from pluggable optics to co-packaged optics. Now let's look at co-packaged optics in general. Now, co-packaged optics is basically photonics integrated circuits that are combined with electrical or radio frequency circuits in a single package. What this does is it replaces these the copper interconnects with optical interconnects, thereby helping us scale as well as maintain the power to cost requirements, which means it will bring down the power to cost requirements by a lot. Thus, not are breaking the power wall. So the main focus for this application area would be datacom and HPCs. Now let's look at the challenges that are associated and how ANSYS solutions can help address these challenges. As we put photonics inside 3D IC, new challenges arise. On a high level, we have issues with optical IO, we have uh, designing the PIC itself, 
the electrical circuits design and multiphysics problems like thermal and mechanical considerations that are associated with these. Now, what ANSYS can give you is a comprehensive multiphysics portfolio. With our multiphysics portfolio and the supporting infrastructure around them, we are well placed to meet all the current and future challenges that are associated with co packaged optics. The ANSYS portfolio has a lot of solutions already in place. The key point to note here would be the variety of solvers that we bring onto the table uh, that could address these existing and future challenges. Overall, with our multi-platform PIC design ecosystem, you can not only design but also simulate not just component, it can also simulate circuit level simulations wherein you can use Cadence Virtuoso layouts to integrate with ANSYS Lumerical to give you a complete circuit level analysis and understanding. Summarize, co-packaged optics definitely seems to be very crucial for the future of datacom and HPC applications, and designing co-packaged optics requires a multi-physics solution. ANSYS's multi-physics solutions and the portfolio of solvers that we have is right there to help you address these challenges be it the optical coupling challenges, thermal integrity challenges, or signal integrity challenges, are solutions like the ones in ANSYS Photonics, ANSYS Lumerical to be exact, ANSYS IcePac, RedHawk, OptiSlang are optimization solver, and then ANSYS Mechanical for structural integrity related challenges can help you address these issues. Thank you for tuning in. Feel free to connect with us and join the discussion at, at optics.ansys.com or explore ANSYS Optics by scanning the second QR code or just connect with me. This is Vaman Chanoy. Thank you.